And hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze. I'm here to give you a solution to your Vive Error 400 slash 306. It all depends on which one you're looking at for the HTC Vive setup. Um, namely, you get like a lovely gray screen, blah, 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 and so forth. Um, I'm going to do this really quickly, then I'm going to explain why. First of all, we're going to boot up the VR and show you that I'm currently getting the error because I intentionally broke it for this video. And when it boots, you'll get this lovely error. You'll need this to run Steam VR to work correctly. Launch Compositor, error 400. And then we look over here, a few seconds later, this pops up. Steam VR failed to initialize for unknown reasons. Blah, 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 blah. Error 306. So, that is the current problem, the thing that you'll run into. The solution is simple. We're going to go to the back of your computer and follow the cable from your little HTC Vive box all the way around and here. If you are using one of these, you can't. It's unfortunate, but you can't. It doesn't have the appropriate uh, something that allows it to work. Since you need the compositor, um, I have three display ports and one HDMI port. So my solution is pretty simple. You have to use the HDMI port and you have to use the primary HDMI port. If you have multiples, that is. And so that is the solution. If you don't have a primary one or you're plugging it into a secondary card, make sure you're plugging it into your primary card if you have something SLI'd. This will solve that problem. If your cards aren't compatible, blah, 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 that is outside of my control, but the compositor thing, if you have a compatible setup, which my setup for right now is an i7-7700K processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 1070 GTX graphics card. That's it. There's a solution. Now, what I'm going to explain is that these things, I had to order another one in order to plug in both of my TVs, because I use those as monitors. These are fine for your monitors, but they are not functional for the HTC Vive. That is really it. And to prove it, we're going to hop back over here. We're going to close this out. And I couldn't open OBS because when the compositor is not working, it crashes OBS. Steam, quit. Now we hit OBS to launch. We click Steam. Now we click the VR again. Should start up quicker. There we go. It will first say unresponsive, blah, 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 Steam VR home. But as you see, no other errors pop up. It's now ready. And the reason why it says unresponsive is because it's taking time to load. But since you don't have that error up there, wait. Let it do its thing. I should have some hold music at this point in time. Probably would solve a lot of problems. Because I've got my lovely VR here. And boom, we have home. And it pops up. And that's it. That's generally the most common solution to that problem. Remember, if your setup is not VR compatible, there's nothing I can do, and I apologize that this didn't help you. But if you folks had fun and this was helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the fun things that make me a happy camper, and I'll see you guys next time.